Hey, Benjamin, over at BT Hall and Construction. This is Doc Keith for Master Flying Billboards. So as promised, this is the video I told you I'll be sending out to you. So usually this will go a bit different, but if you give me your time, I'm going to break this down to you. And I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how you can really get established on the internet. And not just create something ordinary for yourself. And I'm going to show you how a website can be a number one salesman. Right, I'm going to show you a few competitors in the area. And some keywords, right? Keywords are basically phrases or terms that people are searching in Google to find services such as the ones that you may be offering. So if you bear with me, uh, and if you have any questions about it in this video, you can definitely reach out. But I want you to take these tips I'm going to give you today and apply them because they will work. So the first thing that you have to do, right? You have to establish a connection, establish a website, right? Think about that. Establish a website. And this is only if you're definitely 100% looking to grow your business, like I know most people are, and also looking to basically get more business, right? So this is what I mean, just to establish some kind of website. Uh, so you want to start a website, and you want to use content. So content is basically, right? So we're going to be talking about content, backlinks, and citations. You want to use the content first on your website, to give a description about your business. So content is basically anything that you see on any page on, on the internet, right? Anything, all of this that we see here is content. Everything here, I was highlight this whole, this is everything is content. Down to the images, what these images are saved as, if there's videos on this, on any of these uh, sites, what those videos are saved as, right? Uh, so content, and you Google wants to see about 1,500 words of content on the company's website. So you want to build a website and you want to put a content on it. And it's a description about your business, about what is it that you do and where is it that you do it. So if you're a junk removal company in uh, North New Jersey, you want to basically put that on your website. So if I typed into Google BT Hall and Construction, you see that you guys come up here and you guys are listed in some citations, which is very good. So you guys want to establish uh, some kind of like if you guys don't have a uh uh, Google business profile. This is something that you guys is essential, right? This is indispensable. You must establish this, right? And because there, there's really no point of having these free citations and not having a Google business profile because the Google business profile is what's going to reward you the most, right? You, I mean, you may get calls from Yex and Yelp, but the way that works is that it just don't work out for business, a lot of business owners. But yes, I, I, I can tell you that there's a lot of people that benefit from it, but most of the time they're playing a, a, a cool game. So you want to establish a website and you want to rank it you want to on that website you want to just put 1500 words to 2000 words of content right so that's just a description about your business about what is it that you do where is it that you do it how many people you have in the company you know just list these different things and list different pictures about the services that you already did and the areas that you worked in just you know you can say anything that pertains to your business right and this would be that content basically paragraphs about what is it and you want to put in keywords right so this is a keyword junk removal north new jersey so this is a search term this gets about 70 searches per month right so estimated search term it gets about 70 searches per month people are actually clicking this so this is something i will use like this is a actually very good keyword and i'm hoping you're here still in this video i know we started off a little slow but i hope you're still because what you want to do is that you want to build a website and if you do junk removal you want to use this kind of keyword here and there are many more right junk removal storage on your website and google is going to know when someone searched this by your intent right because obviously someone is searching this kind of keyword in google just like we search for restaurants say restaurant near me we're looking for some place to buy from right so that's similar to this keyword you want to use this on your website and when you create that website you want to add power to it that leads us to into backlinks right the second set backlinks is basically other relevant websites high power websites right because they're weak ones there's you know normal ones there's high power websites that's relevant to your industry that's linking back to your site that's passionate power this is how you're going to get pushed up and it's organic search results because obviously right junk luggers i'm sure we hit it all heard of them these guys whoever they are i'm sure we heard of them right and obviously being in one of these positions here because this is the first position this doesn't matter these are uh this is a citation right you actually have, that doesn't matter this is the first position and google recognizes this as a business so obviously being here in one of these sections here is going to bring a ton of traffic and a lot of clients a lot of money to be made by being here and you can get here and i'm showing you how in this video 
First, you want to start with the website, ranking with content. We're on backlinks. So you want to put the power to the website. So example of backlinks was if uh, this is a competitor in the area. Let's just say this guy, this is not a really a powerful website. He's getting about 22 searches per month to his website, but he's doing what I'm telling you guys to do. Right? He's not doing it at a, at a level. Right at two, he's doing it to a certain degree. But you guys want to get and take these referring domains, right? And pass power to your site. This is the URL rating. This is domain rating, right? And this this is like a direct correlation, right? And from what your site looks like within Google metrics. So, and these guys are also ranking for 126 key organic keywords. This means that Google are finding that roofing site for keywords such that pertain to roofing and they're getting searches and they're getting calls and they're getting business from that so that's what you guys want to do build a site rank it with content put keywords within that content right buyer intent keywords not just ordinary keywords you just don't want to put uh just something uh like uh let's see it's junk luggers pricing like that this is a keyword that people are searching for but it's not pertaining to your business right you don't even want to put you could put this just to get some kind of relevance right you're going to come up but Something like this. Now, you know, and then you want to add the power to the site. It's essential. Backlinks. And the salt and the, the, what I just showed you here was a software I use called Ahrefs. It gives me the complete backing of a company's website. Shows me the ins and outs. And also shows me how much traffic this company may be getting. How many organic, organic keywords they're using. So what keywords they're being found for. What search terms they're being found for. When people search them. And how much power they have to this site. Right? So what we do is that we just do a competitive analysis. The thing is that you want to find the competition in the area. So the competition in this area would be junk luggers, right? So you want to take this website and you want to analyze, you want to break it down. And uh, Google wants to see about 1,500 words of content on your front page. And if we put these guys into the uh, this word count in here, and let me recopy that for you guys. One second. So if we put these guys into this word counter. Let's see how much they have. They have 659 words. What I would do, I would just easily be at that 1,500 word mark to beat these guys out and to be considered an authority. But remember, within this content, use keywords. I can guarantee you that these guys are not doing it. Like, they're doing partially of it, but it's usually easy to beat these guys, right? And once you start doing that, how much traffic these guys are getting, you're going to start to capture a percentage of that. Even when you rank your website with this content, everything that we see here, you want to save images as keywords. So as you see that this says is you know, JL logo tag, whatever, but it shouldn't be saved as that. It should be saved as uh, that keyword I showed you, junk removal in North New Jersey. That's how you're going to get found because Google was reading the alt text. That's what's behind the images. They don't care about how the site looks. So that's number one. Backlinks pass the power to the site. Rank it. This is a I'm, I can tell you this is a powerful site. This is a this is just and this is just a location page. But they, I can imagine that their home page is extremely powerful. They're in many different states, cities. This is a big company, right? But you can beat this back page, North, this North back page, by ranking higher than them by showing you what I'm doing now. Uh, so that leads some from the backlinks to the citations, right? You want to list your business and more of these directories right your name address business phone number and that's going to allow you to get here in that section that i showed you right um that that google section right this section here and once you get here you want to upload photo uh more photos to competitors you want to have more uh a description right they give you a 700 uh, character description and you want to up uh do more than your competitors in that right and you want to use keywords right uh slightly within that content you want to don't make it so spammy that it looks like oh you're, you're purposely doing it. you got to make it seem natural right real organic right uh, focus on reviews and this 10 year stuff trust me i have my business if i showed you that is i have business a business i started three years ago ranking above businesses that, that have these kind of metrics doing what i'm telling you i'm doing uh showing you now so uh I want to list all the services and all the services areas that you work in. This section here is responsible for 44% of the traffic that comes to your website. As you can see, someone search, search roof and urge in New Jersey. They came up. They come in and either they click or they go to the website. Here, they got a call. They got a lead. There's a contract made. That's what you want to do. Uh, so the unique thing about Google is that anything that you put on, uh, on, like that has anything to do with your business, if you put it in Google, they're going to associate you with it, right? Junk removal or hauling. But trust me, Yex, Yellow, all this stuff doesn't. That this this doesn't bring a lot of business. I'm pretty sure you you have experienced that. This this is nonsense. I'm gonna show you start your own site, brand your own business, and guarantee 
you're going to start gaining a lot more traffic. You're going to, it's the best thing that you ever did. When you take these three tips, uh, start the website, build it, content, backlink, citations. So I hope I explained some things in here clearly. Like I said, usually this would go a little bit different. I'm doing this for businesses that's already established with their web presence. But I, I, I primarily want to do this for businesses like yours, right? Businesses that's actually looking to grow and show them this is the way. This is how you're doing it. This is how you're supposed to do it. So if you take these three tips I give you today and implement in yourself, rewind, rewind this uh, video, con start the site, find a hosting platform, content, backlink, citations, remember that, and use it. Them three tips alone is indispensable. Once you start doing it, you're going to be so happy. Uh, like I said, so take this information, use it for yourself. If you don't want to do it yourself, you don't have the time to do it yourself, you can definitely reach back out for me. We could get this done for you. But I hope you found this information useful. I would appreciate you if you could provide me some feedback. Other than that, brother, have a nice day. Thank you for your time.